Hello, my name is Ruth Carter and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona. And this is your question of the day. So, somebody asked me, as far as artist alleys at anime cons and comic cons are concerned, where do you draw the line for copyright infringement? I want to make and, and sell small replicas of items that certain characters have, but don't want to be slammed by creators for making a small profit. Okay, good question. Um, at Phoenix uh, Comic Fest, formerly called Phoenix Comic Con, I usually do a panel every year on fan art and fan fiction and copyright and what the rules are. So this is right up my alley. Um, so here's the deal. Whoever owns the copyright gets to decide who gets to make what in terms of memorabilia, replicas, things like that. Um, so, and I have seen, at least in regards to like fan art and fan fiction, a lot of copyright holders are okay with fans creating their own stuff, like making their own costumes, things like that. Uh, but many draw a line when you turn around and sell them. So um, that's why I remember hearing about um, artists selling the Jane hat on Etsy and everyone getting shut down because the because if they're selling it, then that would interfere with the company's ability to make and sell their own replicas, and they don't want that. So um, they might also be concerned about um, if, if, for lack of a better term, amateurs are selling items affiliated with a show or a movie um, that may be of lower quality than what the movie or um, what the company would want to put out. So they don't want to be affiliated with that as well. Uh, but if you're just doing it for yourself, that's that's most likely fine. Um, but if you're turning around and giving it away or stuff, especially if you're selling it, is when a lot of companies draw the line. So, and I have heard that, um, at various cons, there are representatives from the major companies um, like Disney that walk around, allegedly walk around and watch out for um, copyright infringement, whether it's artists drawing characters they shouldn't be or people selling things that aren't licensed. Uh, so you definitely want to be careful, do your homework, consult a lawyer, so you understand what risks you're taking if you choose to pursue something like this. Uh, of course, watching this video does not create an attorney-client relationship with any viewer. This is merely legal information, not legal advice. If you need legal advice, please go hire somebody. Uh, I put out new content every week, so please subscribe to the channel. And until then, I will catch up with you later. Take care.